The UK is seeing many changes all at once. In addition to Queen Elizabeth's passing, a new prime minister was recently appointed. TVBS commentator Wen Qi Yu spoke with Baroness Mary Gowdy, a current member of the UK House of Lords, who shared her take on the changes and how the Taiwan and UK relationship might be moving forward in the future. Welcome to TVBS Meeting Room, where we tackle global issues with a view from Taiwan. I'm your host, Wen Qi Yu. As the world watched the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II yesterday, we can't help but think, what does this all mean after the end of her reign of 70 years? While the monarchy is more symbolic and representational in the UK, it does come with much more significance because of the history of the Great Britain and the empire it once was. Today, we're pleased to have Baroness Mary Gowdy, a member of the House of the Lords, to share with us her thoughts. Welcome, Baroness Gowdy. Thank you very much, Winchy. It's a pleasure to be with you again and to be with you for Taiwan television. And I give my best wishes to all our friends and everyone in Taiwan. What does the passage of Queen Elizabeth II mean to the UK? And how do people view the new era of King Charles III? Well, the passing of Queen Elizabeth II after 70 years in a reign is very much the end of an era. So the new era of King Charles III will be very different in an era of change and continuity with goodwill, but with rapid change because King Charles III has made a good start. There is much hope, but there is a lot that he will want to change in the way the royal family is, the way the royal family household works um, and, and his views, and also his working with the government and, and with, with the state, with churches and so on. As we know that he is, is very much involved in interfaith, very mm -hmm. much involved in the environment, very much involved with young people through the Prince's Trust, and it's to see how he hands those over to other members of the royal family and the charities that he's run and set up, and also how he will wish to reign, and of course, working with the government. Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot going on in the UK yes. right now, in addition, yeah, in addition to the changes um, and the sad news uh, and some new hope in the royal family, but also the UK politics, uh, the government. It's also facing a major transition. Uh, we see that Liz Truss just became the new prime minister and she represents the driving force behind Brexit that changed the UK's relationship with Europe and the world. In the meantime, she's facing enormous challenges at home and abroad. What is your view of her? Well, the new prime minister in the UK is facing enormous challenges both at home and abroad. Remember, she was elected by a small minority of the Conservative Party members, not the country, nor a large majority of the Conservative Party members. When we are in, um, when 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 a Prime Minister resigns or a Prime Minister dies or, or whatever, the Prime Minister of the day is elected by the party itself, not the people of the country as a whole, unless the Prime Minister goes to the country. So it's the members of Parliament, the members of the House of Lords, and the membership of the party. And she was elected by a small minority of the party. And she will accept, expect challenges from within the party because the last Prime Minister had great control of the party. I don't think she will have that same respect and same control. Um, and I do not regard her as a good choice. I'm pessimistic about the future. She has not had a good start, but she does not have a, she does not have to face a general election. So she has a future for the next two years, and she must use this time in the next few weeks to see and to set out, as she says she will, set out where she sees us going in this very difficult financial situation and the situation with Ukraine and the situation with, with, with um, the whole energy situation that's affecting Europe and the world. So how do you think this is all affecting uh, the UK's relationship with China and Taiwan, even though China and Taiwan seem kind of distant from where the UK is, but increasingly we're seeing uh, UK politicians talking tough on China, um, 
how do you look at this help people understand well there is a it's not so small now but there was a very small minority of people against china from left and right mm -hmm. and these two groupings which are quite amazing because they wouldn't speak to each other on other issues i can tell you yeah um, have come together it's it's when this happens the circle comes full term and they are now quite a force within the U united kingdom parliament both in the parliament and in the house of lords um and the chinese government have signaled them out and said we don't want to come to our country mm -hmm. etc so it's making martyrs of each other so then it makes our battles with china more complicated and we've never had a real for a long time good relationship with the embassy here and that's got worse rather than better mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so our relationship with china is is on a difficult edge so you know our relationship with china is is has been difficult for some time and then our relationship with taiwan has always been been good but the relationship around taiwan and china has not really come to the force as in america but mm -hmm. my view is that we will probably go down the road of being helpful to taiwan i mean we have very strong taiwan relationships in parliament the all party taiwan group and others uh, are very good and the taiwan um representatives um in the uk are always in touch with us parliamentary mm -hmm. wide i think that we would come to give support to the taiwanese people in the present time you know you can't but but that's how i read it in the same way is that we're giving support to the ukraine with europe um and we're not going to change that and that we've already committed today to more funding next year with mm -hmm. europe to the ukraine mm -hmm. if it's necessary well thank you baroness gaudi for um helping the people in taiwan um, and elsewhere understand the uk politics and its place in the world better